An early staff shakeup for a potential presidential candidate. Governor Scott Walker tapped veteran Republican strategist Liz Mayer to lead online communication efforts, but she stepped down after only one day on the job. It's all over a social media firestorm. KCCI's Ryan Smith is live to explain. Stacy, that's right. It's a string of controversial tweets. Some say take sucker punches at Iowa. The state GOP chair lashed out this week, calling the digital consultant shallow and ignorant. From January's Freedom Summit to March's Ag Summit, Scott Walker has been no stranger to the Hawkeye State. While the Wisconsin governor woos Iowans, a social media firestorm is brewing over a few tweets published by a Republican strategist once connected to his team. When an outsider comes in to work for a particular campaign who may have heard negative things about the caucuses, uh, that outsider's got to be very careful not to embarrass the person for whom he or she is working. Sure. Liz Mayer's time on Governor Walker's PAC payroll didn't last long. Here's why. She posted two tweets on the January morning of Iowa's Freedom Summit. One read, I see Iowa is once again embarrassing itself and the GOP this morning. Thanks, guys. Just one minute later, the bashing continued with, the sooner we remove Iowa's front-running status, the better off American politics and policy will be. Why would she do that? <laughs> I mean, that's not good. <laughs> no, not a good idea at all. Mayor's online swipes at Iowa and its first in the nation caucus status is infuriating voters. She'll have to come to Iowa, spend some time with we Iowa citizens, and she'll understand that we really are a good representative group of people to start this very, very important process. Voters here suggest that all out of town staffers and strategists follow the unofficial state motto when campaigning. Be Iowa nice. People are smart, they're knowledgeable, they follow the issues. And it's as if those tweets were not enough. In another January tweet, Mayor called Iowans government dependent for taking subsidies for ethanol. As you can imagine, she's facing a lot of backlash online. Her responses continue today, acknowledging she did, in fact, offend some folks with those tweets. Live in the studio tonight, Ryan Smith, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.